In the words of reggae legend Peter Tosh, thousands gathered to call on the government to legalize it and not criticize it. This pro-cannabis lobby says its continued criminalization is a violation of cultural and religious rights and also stifles the economy, particularly the health sector. The ganja oil is good for the people, like terminal cancer and stuff like that and all kinds of ailments and um, to cure alcoholism, to cure drug addiction. I totally uh, support it. I smoke myself um, and uh, it's, it's just something that I'm, I really believe in. Because there's so many good things and yeah, makes us all happy. Like if we swap, like making oil-based materials to making hemp-based materials, it would like contribute to our environment. For a nice culture, man. So I can practice our culture more, so for the cancer, so holy sacrament, so for that we burn, for, 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 for holy meditation, and etc., you know. Organizers say in depressed economic times, the government would do well to expand on the high court judgment for a plant that holds so much economic potential. If you look at places like America, in Colorado, for instance, the first year of legalization they had $12 million in taxes paid from cannabis only. So you can imagine in a place like South Africa, it's also pretty big. And yeah, so you can statistically, I can't give you a perfect estimate, but yeah, it'll be big. It's unlikely this crowd will have their demands met anytime soon, however. The Constitutional Court is yet to confirm the High Court ruling, while Parliament still has at least 22 months to amend legislation before the possession and or use of cannabis is officially decriminalized. Lukanyo Kalada, SABC News, Cape Town.